all the stuff we do for a deer. That back one's a shooter. He's a shooter, definitely. That's one of the eights right there. Good old George eight right here. got an idea but I don't know a lot of the deer come from behind the stand like where you'll be facing yeah. back in there some new <laughs> area just on the set this year so you gotta clear your way in. The tree just fell recently blocking the trail. Trim a couple of limbs and the buggy will go over it. All the stuff we do for a deer. Doing a couple of things different here. I'm not too confident in all this, but it's worth a shot. I was parking the buggy and come to find out due to different cameras, deer showing up same same cameras. I think I was parking my buggy in the middle of their travel corridor. So I'm gonna drop Brian off right here and then I'm gonna go up the road this way and park which is one thing different, but two is different, is there's no leaves on the trees anymore. So this stand, as you'll be able to tell, is in the wide open. But I think we've got enough ninja skills to conceal ourselves up there, and we can get it shot off. It's just gonna be tricky. We're trying something new in an area where we're highly visible. So we're gonna put real tree camouflage to the test and see if we can make it work in this scenario. It's a long shot, but I think it's possible. December. Temperature is pretty cool. Deer have been on their feet feeding for quite a couple of days since this cold front came in. When the weather's heated up around here, they die off. They don't feed much. When it gets colder, they get on their feet and feed a lot more. Oh, it's just been a cat and mouse game to whether they're in here or not. But there have been two eight pointers hanging out right here around this stand set. Oh, both of them are pretty big. One's real wide deer, the other one's real tall, but they're both good, solid, mature deer. They've both been showing up a bunch in the evenings during daylight, right before dark. Uh, plenty of camera light, I believe, to get a shot off at one of them. But it's a good setup in here. It's on top of a ridge. There are a bunch of white oaks that follow this ridge. There's a little creek down below us, so they got water. They got everything they need right here. So. Hopefully one of them will do what they've been doing for the past couple of weeks and come on up in here this evening. And they gonna come on up in here and get shot if they do it this evening. But we're gonna cop a squat and see what happens. been in here for a couple of hours. It's been really slow. 
these deer have been coming in real late, about 15 minutes before shooting light ends. It's been slow, but it's cold. They gotta get up moving and feeding. So I think here within the next 30 minutes or so, it's gonna start getting good. Ryan, there's some deer coming across the creek. Looks like several of them. That back one's a shooter. He's a shooter, definitely. That's one of the eights right there. He's up above us now. I can't get a shot back in there. He wouldn't stop. He's feeding on acorns going up that hill. He's just feeding right there. other deer's coming down this way now. I think he might fall back down in here. Here he comes, get ready. Sounds like he's hit hard. Oh man, I 
I'm still shaking, dude. I thought we were done when he crossed over. I thought he was done. He went up there and fed around for a while and came back down here. Man, it's been a long year here in Georgia. It's been tough hunting, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of, but it finally came together, I believe. Shot looked good. I couldn't really tell. That's what I get for not shooting a light and knock, but man, it was a great hunt. The deer did exactly what we thought they were gonna do. The deer stayed around us and fed for literally, it seemed like 20 minutes. I don't know how long it was in actual time. But man, he's a solid eight, big eight, big Georgia deer. And I think he's on the ground, I ain't 100% sure, but the shot looked good. I kind of got lost in the moment a little bit and couldn't pay attention to what was really going on. But all I know is I'm still shaking. A yeah, good Georgia deer might be down. <laughs> we reviewed the footage. We recovered the arrow. It looks like the shot's a little bit back, so Anytime you got a back shot or you don't feel confident with the shot, it's best to back out. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out. Uh, I got a friend of mine, Justin Strickland, has got some real good tracking dogs and probably give him a shout tonight. Let the deer have time to expire and come back and track him in the morning. It's always best bet. Whenever in doubt, back out. Uh, I've done the wrong thing many a time and ended up pushing deer up and losing them. So. I don't want to do that again. I try to learn from my mistakes, believe it or not. But it's just one of those unfortunate things we got to do. It's going to be a sleepless night, but I would rather be safe than sorry. We're heading in the woods right now. I shot that deer over here yesterday evening, a little bit back. Didn't quite know if the shot was good enough, so it's always good to back out when you're in doubt. Feel pretty confident we can find it. Got a friend of mine, Justin Strickland, back behind us with some tracking dogs. He's got a couple of good tracking dogs. and I just don't want to mess the area up before they get in there. Uh, bad shots can be a tough deal. A lot of low sleep last night. But we're back at it this morning. Hopefully we can find him without too much tracking. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Y'all ready to go find the deer? You ready to go find the deer? Huh? You ready to go find the deer? Whoop, Nelly. He done fall it off. Fumble. Fumble. Come on. There you go. Come here. Come here. They are ready to roll. You got your sniffer on? Huh? All right, let, let's walk on. Dude, they're on your deer right there. What? <laughs> God <laughs> almighty. Oh my God. Man, it stands right up there. That's literally where we stopped videoing was right there. Well, man, I'm sorry. No, uh, we actually, we circled around and went back and came all the way back in the quail lane up there because we didn't want to disturb anything, but man alive. Yeah, he's a, he's a solid little eight. Man, just a beautiful eight pointer. Oh, oh man, that's such a pretty deer. Good old Georgia eight right here. Man. It's better off to be safe than sorry. I called my friend Justin Strickland last night and said, man, not too sure about the shot. Had some bile on the arrow. So we played it safe. We backed out, called him, came in here this morning, and literally we found the deer walking to the tree stand where we shot him. He's laying right off the side of the main road right here, man. I tell you, I like a good solid eight pointer. I don't know what it is about him. I mean, he, he doesn't have many deductions. He's going to net pretty good, too. Yeah, he got a little trash. A lot of these deer have a lot of trash around the bases. That one we killed last year over here had a tremendous amount of trash around him. In Georgia, we caught this, we, we call this a point. So I think I could balance a ring on it. So as long as you can balance it, it ain't got to hang. As long as you tilt it just right, if you get it level. That, that, that's you know. what I'm talking about right there. So we killed a nine-pointer today by Georgia standards. 
Maybe, maybe we got one there, so that's 10. There's a little something right there, that's 11. There's another one, 12. And he wanted to do something right there. Yeah, well if he wanted to, it's close enough. <laughs> if he wanted, if he wished it. It's there, man, it's there. So we really got a 34 pointer, fellas. <laughs> uh, we got a 34 pointer right here we just killed in absolutely great hunt, great ending. Thanks to my friend Justin Strickland for coming out with his dogs. Man, your dogs are absolutely <laughs> miracle workers. <laughs> Brother, thank you so much. I know we worked you to death, but no, you know. This is, uh, I like it like I wish every deer track was like this. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Man, it's just a, man, he's a good solid Georgia deer. Yeah, I always gather up a search party because you never know what you're going to come into or how far you're gonna have to drag, so I always like to call a few friends. Brother Roger Culpepper, thank you well, so much for coming and helping out.